Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Sorry, there's a plane, but I'm outside with the doggies, letting them out, and it's 7 o'clock. I've been up since about 6 this morning, trying to finalize. I've been up since 6, six this morning, trying to finalize everything for surgery. So we're letting the puppies out before we get on the road. But I thought I would come on and kind of give you guys an update so far. So yesterday registration, pre-registration was fine. Um, I went and gave blood, registered. Again, talked about the finances. But, you know, uh, you know we're ready for this. We're, we're ready to kind of move on and get healthy again. So... I just wanted to give you guys an update. Everything is well. The husband came in early. Um, he surprised me at three o'clock in the morning, yesterday morning. Um, I was on cloud nine. You guys, I cried like a baby because that's essentially all I really wanted in addition to just getting healthy this week. I just had had so much going on emotionally that I was just like, I really just want my husband home. And he came home, guys. He drove 15 and a half hours. That drive normally takes 16. My best time was 16, worst time 18. And it took him 15 and a half hours. He's a dedicated man. So we are, another plane so anyway we're getting ready to leave so I wanted to kind of give you guys a before you know conversation and then I'll pick up the camera when we come home Saturday um, and kind of give you guys a rundown of what happened so stay tuned and thank you for um, your prayers and um, and encouragement so we'll talk to you guys soon Hey guys, so it's day two of surgery, or post-surgery, and I am home, and I'm doing well. Um, I am in some pain today, as I was in yesterday. Uh, surgery took longer than I expected, um, because the nodule was much larger than they assumed. Um, so the incision, I don't know if you guys can see it's right here, um, it's, uh, they did it on my crease or the line, or the, what is that, the crease of my neck, so that it wouldn't be an extra cut or scar, um, but I am doing better um i'm in some pain uh this morning i've had i've had family come over yesterday and today and friends come over to check up on me which has been great um but um laughter comes into play with them so i've laughed quite a bit and um which has hurt me today because actually i woke up this morning i had a bloody nose and both both nostrils um, let's see in the hospital I went in for surgery um, at about all that was scheduled for 10 I didn't really go in until I think about 11 or 12 um, and then I didn't get out until it's about two hours it's a two hour long procedure. Um, again, because obviously the nodule was much larger than the doctor expected, as I said. Um, it was pushing against my trachea. And so, um, which he believed then is why I've had issues with coughing and I could have issues with swallowing and so on. Um, so, um, 
it took me quite a bit to get out of to open up and the not to open up but to um, to wake up to my bit to wake up um, from surgery I'm still in some pain still hurting um, I am taking oxycodone at nighttime and I'm taking Tylenol extra strength during the day 500 milligrams so I'm taking two capsules of those um, I'm still on liquids and soft foods I've tried to eat uh, regular food but I just can't my throat hurts really bad um, so they've only taken out one side they only took out the right side as as expected they left in the left side but I should I have a post-op on Wednesday and that's when I should get um, the results of the nodule if it came back if there's any other cancer cells and they were not um, he, sealing it or closing it they decided to use glue instead of sewing or staples um, so I'm kind of restricted on movement um, I can shower normally um, I can um, it's hard for me to get comfortable at night time to go to sleep it's hard for me to get comfortable sitting in the chair because you don't really realize how much of your neck muscle you use um, or of your neck you actually use I've been using this thing around my neck for swelling there's this is an ice pack that was actually gifted to me um, by a dear friend and it's come in handy quite a bit actually so I use this around my neck area for swelling um, my husband's been extremely helpful and great with dealing with the kids and getting me to where I need to be um, as I told you guys he surprised me he came in Thursday morning at 3 o'clock and today is Sunday um, and I'm still there's still a lot of pain that's going on right here um, obviously um, just it's sometimes it's bearable sometimes it's not I have been falling in and out of sleep a lot um, so I've been managing um, the kids may end up entertaining riding their bikes to practice um, the next couple of days because I'm not going to be able to do much with that um, But I just want to kind of give you guys an update where I'm at. So day two has just been, yesterday was, you know, I was in bed all day. My mom came over. Um, like I said, I had friends and family come over yesterday. Um, I stalled day. And then today, same thing, family and friends came over today. I stalled day. And a little bit more pain today. And then, um... Um, just I guess my plan is to stay in you know just to be comfortable I've been eating jello and uh, pudding um, so but I'm just a lot of prayer and I'm thankful for those who've prayed over me and I'm thankful for those who prayed for me um, and for the physician um, this is a healing, this is a process, of course, of, of going through this. So now the journey begins on dealing with living with one thyroid or living with a partial thyroid um, because the procedure that I actually had was called a partial thyroidectomy. So living with half a thyroid is going to be challenging because we don't know if my one thyroid is going to produce enough hormones. Um, so we're hoping that it does. I am scheduled, like I said, to go and do my post-op, but then I'm also scheduled for my, to visit with my thyro my endocrinologist next week to make sure that, you know, I do blood work and get my numbers right. Um, so I have that scheduled up, so, I mean, there's a lot of things that are in, in play. Um, I can't scream, I can't talk loud because my throat hurts a lot. Um, I can't cough. I can only kind of just do the 
clearing of the throat. Um, I have noticed one big thing. The first thing is I no longer have this lump on my throat anymore. Second thing is I feel like I can breathe. Uh, second thing is I can breathe. Um, I have not been able to really see if, if it's affected my, my swallowing because obviously it hurts to swallow some. But so far breathing's been great. <laughs> anyway, but I just want to give you guys an update on day two. Um, uh, day two after surgery, obviously. So, um was pretty scary in the hospital sometimes because of how medicated I was. They put me, they gave me a strong dose. Um, but I will give you guys a follow-up after my post-op. So that'll be in a couple of days. I'll let you guys know how that goes. And then follow up at the end of the week so you guys can know how I'm doing after that and, and so on. So. But I, again, I want to thank everyone for praying over me, praying with me, praying for me. Um, this is just the beginning of a journey that um, I believe is manageable, that I know that I can do. So um, I just ask that those who are believers in Christ to continue to pray because this, this journey is yet to be over. So. Um, just to keep praying. Um, so, thank you all. And um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.